Crisis and opportunity are very similar. So in 2020, we had a crisis. You might remember August, there were about five days, it was above 100 degrees in a row. And we had rolling blackouts across California, which is terribly expensive, dangerous. People die when that happens. Kind of a side note, really, to that, but politically very unfortunate. That's not good for、uh, governors and other folks when that happens. So let's have everybody on alert. We know our grid is not stable.、Um, now, earlier last year, the California Independent System operator that operates our grid and the California Energy Commission, as they do every year, released their forecast for the California grid. And they're forecasting for this coming summer and beyond a 3.5 to 4.4 gigawatt. Shortfall during peak. We don't have enough electrons to keep the lights on in California. 4.4 gigawatts, that's 4,400 megawatts. If you guys are familiar with the Diablo nuclear power plant, it's our last big nuke in California. We're, we're actually decommissioning it, but it's 2.2 gigawatts. So this is a shortfall of two nuclear power plants that we have to make up the difference on. So this is a proper emergency, and Governor Newsom responded as such. In July, he issued an emergency. Summer reliability proclamation across all agencies that said everybody's got to rally and figure out solutions to this problem across every state agency. And a lot of that, frankly, is more fossil gas. We're buying turbines as fast as we can. We're actually paying diesel generators to spin during peaks, which is not only expensive, but like dirty, right? Locally dirty. Nobody wants that. That's the opposite of a decarbonized grid. But when it comes down to it, reliability is king. We've got to keep the lights on. And that's true also. So, as part of that process, the Public Utilities Commission of California started a proceeding that actually went fast, which I was unaware that was possible. And、uh, a bunch of folks, Recurve, but also MCE and East Bay Community and Sonoma Clean Power and others, contributed ideas. And one of those ideas was taking this flex market, this open market approach to engaging local reliability. Through flexibility behind the meter through virtual power plants and expanding it. And we had proposed a big expansion of, to $40 million statewide, which seemed big. Come December, the PUC voted and the commissioners unanimously approved their proposal. And it was a, what they proposed is a $160 million expansion of this flex market statewide. So we're right now, a couple months into ramping up for this summer,、uh, a much larger approach that can harness this virtual power plant. Approach working with companies up and down the states, residential solar and storage, and commercial refrigeration and lighting and HVAC. We're agnostic to all of that. And we're saying, look, if you can build business models that customers actually want to invest in, that also bring us grid benefits in the form of decarbonization and reliability, we'll pay you for that value because it's cheaper than the alternative and it helps customers. And so that's scaling up now and that's scaling up here. Uh, we are actually, we'll be deploying this summer primarily in Northern California. And all of you in your buildings, in your places of work, in your homes, will be seeing new opportunities to make investments that benefit you in the form of comfort and resiliency and lower bills, but also help us decarbonize the grid. And you'll be a part of the virtual power plant and be paid for that, for those benefits that are accruing to all of us mutually as we all strive to decarbonize the power system and do what we can to combat. Climate change. Thank you.